Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dream Moves to Row here, here for another reading for the sign of Leo. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those who subscribe, those who recently subscribe, and those who subscribe in the near future. All is welcome. Cross watches, grab a seat. All right, I won't hold you guys any longer. Thank you, thank you so much for your continued lovely likes, comments, and shares, and continue subscribing to my channel. All right, greatly appreciate it. There's no time, no gender in tarot. This is why I highly recommend that you guys subscribe subscribe because you just never know when you need to hear this okay some people i'm telling you like some things don't resonate for you now a year six months to four months to two months to three months to two weeks to two days it resonates you just never never know all right when you need to hear this this is why i highly recommend that you guys subscribe subscribe i've been there i'm um, like seriously like i've been there where um I regret, like, damn, I definitely seen a title that definitely resonated with me, and yet I did not save that, you know, that, um, that reader's, um, page, you know, channel. So, as I said, uh, from experience, please be mindful, and yeah, let's get to your reading, all right? Ancestors, angels, universe, any messages you'd like for me to relay back to the sign of Leo, please and thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm getting, I just got something, right? How much do you, you believe in your efforts, okay? All right, see, now this thing that I'm trying to get off my thing will come off. All right, yeah. How much do you believe in what it is that you want, okay? Because I feel like you're going you're gonna to come into some blockages, some hurdles and it's to test you okay and this is for some people out there i just feel like i needed to say that all right you're gonna be tested you're gonna be tested <laughs> the universe wants to know how bad do you want it all right slow down disharmony okay Two more, please and thank you. May just be three, whichever it is you want to give me, universe. Please and thank you. All right? Ancestors, angels, universe, any message you'd like for me to relay back to the sign of Leo. Please and thank you. All right? We're going to thoroughly. This is what they're telling me. We're using the Black Hollywood or Love Oracle deck, okay? Sort of like the other one. Who that? Who that? Who that? Is that even a message? What is that? This time we was taking. Hold on, just a second. I, I think someone's feeling bright. Hold on. <laughs> I apologize in advance. Okay. Wow. Unnecessary. I appreciate it, but that's that was unnecessary right now. All right, two more cards, please and thank you, universe. I apologize, guys. <clears throat> All right, I'm hearing that song, baby. Come down, come down. All right, how many is this? Calm down. Oh shoot. So I said that. I said either two or three. And the universe gave me three. So for the first card that came out, slow down. Slow down. Second card, disharmony. Quality time. Emotional support. And final shot. Hmm. Hmm. That's crazy. It's a twisted story. <laughs> wow. 
How bad do you want it is what they're saying. How bad do you want it? My turtle's just banging on the thing. How bad do you want it, right? You have a chance to make this work with your person. <laughs> but you or your person might just get sidetracked by a third party. That's willing to pick up the pieces that your person is not keeping up with for now. Doesn't mean that your person can't surrender and show you a good time. Feel that void that you're missing. But there's something about this person that's coming into your life or your person's life. While you and your person are going through these issues. You have the opportunity, you and your person, to make this work at the end of the day. But be mindful of confusing yourself. Because someone's talking in your ear, someone's giving you a good time, someone's sharing some time with you and trying to understand what it is that you need in a relationship, in a partner. You don't want to give up on your person. That's why you're willing to give this last shot to them. But this is the only time that you're going to give it to them because you already know that there is something Sorry, but better. I think you guys, and this is for some of you guys, who, you know, you was with this past person. Yeah, like, I can't make this up. Falling in love. You're, you're falling in love with this new person. It's a vibe, clarity. Like I can't make this up. It's a it's a vibe. Clarity. Some of you guys, yes, wanna have faith. Y'all had faith in this. But now it's gonna continue to be a distant memory. This person gives you butterflies, playfulness. <laughs> Yo, I can't make this up. What is this? Freedom. You feel alive with this new person. Oh my God. Like, like, your past person right now, giving them this final shot, is because you, you, they've been constantly nagging about you of how they want to change and how they're going to be this and how they're going to be that. And it's not even about that anymore with you. This past person that you want to give your, you know, a shot to, you that, you know, you're still even conflicted about that because you don't know if you really truly want to, like, give up or put this new person on hold. Something about how this person treats you when you're around them, hold the doors for you, pulls your seat out. Calls you and checks to see if you ate today at all. Did you? How did you sleep? Good morning text. Good night text. So just to let you know that they've been thinking about you. But your heart, the 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 way you feel, you don't want to. You don't want to give up on your past person. You don't want to feel guilty if you give in to this new person. Are you making a mistake? So you want to give this person this final shot with you and go on, you know, and try this out again. But you, you're afraid to miss this opportunity with this person because this person knows their worth. They know that they can, they're able and capable of giving it to you. Not to say that they won't wait. But how long? You could be laying down, you could be sleeping, you could be, you know, you could be kissing, you could be doing all types of stuff with this person, and you want this new person to wait.
I think some of you guys are going to find clarity and understand that, you know, where you thought you was able to give the person a final shot, you're realizing that you can't bear to lose the sight of losing this new person because, you, yeah, you are falling in love. With this past person, it's like you pity them, like you feel bad. You don't want to hurt nobody. You don't want to hurt nobody. But you don't want to be sad and lonely either. And the more that you stay with this person, the more that, you know, you, you, you get irritated. You, like, you do. You get irritated with them. Because there's much more that meets the eye when it comes to this to this new person. But let's let's dive more deep into this. Like what is it that you're holding back from or is your person holding back like what is your new person or your old person needs to say to you? Like oh my God, there's two people competing and loving you and trying to show you devotion. This new person wants to, sh yo. You didn't even you was you didn't even sign up for that. They just came. They showed you a different side of you, Leo. And you feel as though you deserve it. I think some of you guys did give your past person a a final shot, and you said, "All right, you're done with it." So you you found clarity in it that it's time for y'all guys to, you know, to go your separate ways. It's okay to be friends, but that's as far as it's going to go. And to a point where if you guys can't understand boundaries, then yeah, you're going to have to let it go. And there won't be no friendship. I don't think you guys want to let go of this new person here. Mm -mm. The hardest thing is telling your past person... That they can't stand a chance because you no longer feel for them like they feel for you. Yes, this is angels. Any messages you would like to, for me to relay back to the sign of Leo, please. And thank you. Take that. There are so many things right about us and so many things not. Control issues and fighting feelings is not the way forward. Truth, compromise, and clear communications lead to understanding. Yeah. I hear some of you guys, I heard it. Yeah, yeah, I've been there, done that. It's all right. I wave the white flag. Y'all guys had too much differences than, you know, similarity. Y'all started clashing. Okay, we're going to take that last card. It just came. I knew it was you from the very first embrace. Energy flow, electricity, and magnet, magnet, magnetism. Undeniable. Yeah, that's what your new person is telling you. You know it. That's why you had to let it go. That past person, you had to let it go. You're ready for something new, something better. You're, this person keeps you hungry to know what is what is, what else is they got in store for you the next day. You're ready. You're ready for something new. All you do is smile. This person, this past person is just going to be a distant memory. Maybe you don't really want to be loved. Yeah. Your past person ain't ready for what it is that you're ready for. You look back, you're going to lose your chances with this this new person. And I think, and I believe wholeheartedly some of you guys are going to know what to do moving forward with this new person. Some of you guys are asking the new person to slow it down because you feel like, you know, it's, it's too soon for you guys to be, you know, have this magnetic attraction. Then you look back and you think about, you know, your, you know, being a certain way with your past person and feeling guilty that you start pointing out little things that is not a big deal with the new person, but just to sabotage it. Normal, but don't regret it. Let me take those two. First card 
Standing in your power is way more forward move, move, moving than slipping into a deeply ingrained pattern. Catch yourself. Exactly. You know that this is not going to work out with you and your past person. So why continue to continue to try and try and try? This is with the last shot. This is not the only time that, you know, you guys try to work this out. You're becoming more, you know, it's becoming more of a pattern. A repetitive stage. You want to get over it. I was scared to, but I was willing to take a risk and be vulnerable with you. Vulnerability is not weakness. Running is. Exactly. You faced your fears. You did all that you could do in this past relationship, but this person continued to show you that your your efforts was in vain. They did not they did not appreciate it. They thought they was the only one afraid to fall in love or afraid for a commitment. You were too, but you still stuck it out. You're still standing in your power, still standing in your truth, and you try to love them for who they were, for who they are. But they, you can't say the same for them. That's why you're taking everything that you learned and to turn it into wisdom. To know how you move forward and to understand other people better. Fool me once, fool on you, fool you twice. Well, that's what I heard. They don't understand you like the other person understands you. You can't, you don't want to hurt nobody. I get it. You don't want to hurt nobody. You don't want to hurt nobody. And I think you told this new person that. Too. And what's so sweet is that this new person gets you. They want to be your friend and your lover. They want to understand why you cry or why you smile. They're just as hopeless romantic and they're just as tired as you are. They just got out of something as well. Not too long ago. But not not as you know, recent as you. They were heartbroken as well. This person wants to be loyal. This person is loyal. And they mean what they say. And when they say it. They just don't want nobody else wasting their time. Or to be confused. In the beginning, we, we wasn't sure about this person's, you know, and what they're going to do. Like, if they're going to really, like, wait till you get what it is that you need to get done with this past person they'll they'll wait for a closure they know that you're heading towards a closure but for you to kiss and make up and try to see where it's going to be yes they're not they're not waiting this person values their self because like as i stated they are just going they have just went through the same thing you have went through take out resonates it could be same sex it could be whichever Male, female, female, male, whichever. Someone has encountered in someone who has who is just as tired of walking in, building, trying to build with someone that is not ready for what they're ready for. Know what it is, what you want. If you've been through back and forth with this past person. And all of a sudden, you're able to have feelings for someone else. Yeah, that should, say, that should say enough for you. But who am I to say? Because you're going to do what you want to do, right? All I can do is tell you and give you confirmation on your next move. On what you, sh you, know, what you possibly can do or what you could possibly be aware of. This person makes you want to, you know, introduce them to your family members. 
to your friends. There's like this is some like little note stuff, like you know, like they they'll set up, you know, little jokes for you in your in your in your lunchbox to work, you know. And when you it's time to eat is when you you know you reveal these letters, these little notes. This person wants to constantly let you know how beautiful you are and how admired they are by your beauty, by your qualities. In a, pu in a person itself. You're a go-getter. You're strong. You're wise. And this person knows that you deserve better. They know that you deserve them. But they're selfless enough to... Selfless enough to let you make that decision yourself. All they can do is just be there for you when you need them to be. But they won't pull. They won't pull you. This this is this is sometimes rare to find. So be mindful on what you let go of and be mindful what you keep. So you don't regret later. Imagine someone getting it the first time around and you don't have to constantly tell them what it is twice that you don't like. They already understand, they already get it. They already respect it. Somebody, some people are there just to confuse you. Some people are there to distract you from what it is that you actually really need in your life. So, I, I, I believe you guys will make the choices that you know you need to make for yourself. Yeah, you're ready for love. You're ready for love. Y'all guys are going to make the right choices. Yeah, patience. Be patient with yourself. Take time. This is the time that you, you take to know what it is you actually really want. <laughs> but that's all I have for you guys. <laughs> Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Greatly appreciate it. Till next time, Leo. Peace. Merry Christmas.